Hello, how are you doing today? I'm Jay Hawk out here in Banks, Oregon, and my wife Lori and I, uh, we have our own little oil company of our own called Soaring Hawk Essential Oils. And uh, we have a, a fun team out here. Uh, in fact, well, actually, we're, we're kind of scattered like most teams are. You've, we've got members in Texas, you know, Arizona, Washington, Idaho, Iowa. Um, we're, we're scattered throughout, but we are based in Banks, Oregon. And what I want to talk to you today about is a question that a lot of people have when they're first introduced to essential oils. And that is, why are the essential oils sent in these little amber-colored bottles. So why is that? Because a lot of times, when you go to the grocery store, some of those generic essential oils, which you shouldn't get, don't get those, and don't recommend them either, but a lot of those are in clear glass bottles. Why do we use amber bottles? Quite simply, because it helps save the integrity of the oil. Oils are not eternal, as in, you know, a lot of people say, yeah, they last forever. Well, forever is kind of a misnomer. They last a very, very, very long time if kept properly. Keep them in a cool, dark, dry place. You know, a, a drawer is excellent for something like that. And keep them in either an amber colored bottle like that or cobalt blue like this. What does that do? That helps protect the oils from sunlight. Sunlight can damage oils. It can oxidize citrus oils such as lime right here. In fact, citrus oils are probably one of the quicker oils to lose their potency because citrus oils do oxidize. So you, you want to use these, you know, but they still last a long time. All right. So don't, don't feel like you have to have uh, 20 bottles of lime in stock because, you know, eventually they're going to oxidize by the time you get to that, you know, maybe 10th or 11th bottle. So now they're still good, but they're not as potent. They're not as powerful as when you first get them. So what I would do when Young Living has uh, a special uh, every now and then, you know, they'll, they'll give you something like this, a really nice gift. It's, it's a bottle. It's, uh, it's a roll-on, I believe. Okay, so you got a roll-on bottle. And this, this one actually has uh, amethyst crystals in it. And uh, you'll notice it's clear. Well, yeah, you can put oils in clear bottles, but in a very short time, light will get in there and start to mess with the oils a little bit and create less potency for the oils. It really takes away the, um, the wellness factor, if you want to call it that. Um, I, I think, you know, the therapeutic qualities are lost with exposed ex with exposure to sunlight. So if you're going to use something like this, if you're going to use a clear bottle, don't keep this on the counter where sunlight gets to it. Keep it in a cool, dark place, right? And I would I would still rather not use a clear bottle. Um, I would much rather use something like cobalt blue or a larger version, um, uh, well, like, like this is one of those uh, dram bottles that you use for, uh, for samples and stuff. But you can see the amber bottle uh, really helps block out sunlight and the ultraviolet rays from the sun, which can damage oils. So if you want your oils to last a long time, which they do anyway, and if you want to make sure they keep their potency and their therapeutic values, Make sure you keep them in either amber or cobalt blue bottles. That's what we do, and that's what a lot of people do with Young Living, and I think it's the best thing because if you keep them in a clear bottle, they're going to lose their potency. They're going to lose their therapeutic value a heck of a lot faster 
especially if you keep it in sunlight. So take care of your oils. I know a lot of people have racks of oils and they've got them on wall mounts in their bathroom and there's sunlight coming through the bathroom window and it's hitting the oils. Even if you have these bottles, even if you have the amber bottles, that sunlight can still lessen the potency of your oils. Not as quickly as with the clear bottle, but still, you know, be safe with them and keep them, store them well, because if you don't, you're wasting your oils and you're wasting the wonderful power that these oils have. Um, for example, this bottle of lime. If I were to keep this out in the sunlight, it would not have that refreshing lime scent, that sharpness to it, and it would not have the wellness properties that lime provides because the sunlight diminishes that greatly. So store your oils properly, folks. Uh, put them in a box, a drawer, uh, keep them in a closet, wherever you want to keep them. Keep them out of direct sunlight. Yes, I've got some on, on a rack back here. The sun does not hit that area, so that's good. That's one of the things that I've learned over the seven years I've been with Young Living is store your oils property, properly and they will last a long, long time for you. And with that, I'm going to say hope you have a wonderful rest of the day, a great week. Lori and I are heading to Utah. Yes, we're taking off on Tuesday and looking forward to that. If anyone on Team Transforming Lives is going to be at the convention live, we would love to see you. We would love to meet you. Look for the big guy in a Hawaiian shirt with a petite, cute blonde next to him. That will be me and Lori. And... <laughs> And uh, come by and say hi. We would love to meet other members of Teen Transforming Lives. It would be fun. So much fun. So until next time we talk, hope you have yourselves a wonderful rest of the day. Take care. God bless.